This is Business Rockstars. I'm Brittany Whitney, and my guest today is David Greenfeld, founder of Dream Pops. David, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. Really appreciate it. So these are obviously Dream Pops, and we'll dive into that in a few seconds. But for those who are not familiar with you, um, tell us a little about your entrepreneurial background and what kind of inspired you to start Dream Pops. Definitely. So in no way, shape, or form would I have guessed that I would be in the frozen novelties or popsicle business uh, for the long run. Um, in another life, I used to be an investment banker at a company called Houlihan Loki, locally in, uh, in Century City. And, uh, you know, really enjoyed uh, learning kind of how to model and f how to financially model businesses, how to look at M&A, mergers and acquisitions, and, uh, and think long term about building businesses and readying them for, for sale and, you know, to kind of help them uh, scale for the long run. So. so you were in investment banking, and did you just wake up one day and decide, I want to start a plant-based ice cream business? Not really. It <laughs> came, uh, came from a need. So, you know, I'd have my late-night ice cream binges at my mm -hmm. cubicle, and I'd be sitting there, and I'd be eating Haagen-Dazs bars, pints of ice cream. I have a ridiculous sweet tooth. Yeah, same. <laughs> and so, you know, for me, it was like I started to think a little bit about what I was eating, what I was consuming on a daily basis, and started to transition a little bit to a plant-based diet. And so would go to the grocery store and, uh, and just frankly, there weren't a lot of products that met my needs in terms of wanting something that was dairy free or low in sugar, mm -hmm. snackable, kind of on the go. Right. And, you know, what initially started the engine of, man, I think that we need to rethink frozen snacking and look for better options for people that want a permissible indulgence, mm -hmm. want something to satisfy that sweet tooth. But also that's still, you know, net net pretty good for you in the long run. So. And so did you start Dream Pops while you kept your day job of investment banking or did you just go cold turkey and quit and then start Dream Pops? Yeah, so I wouldn't recommend it, but I did both simultaneously until there was really traction and proof of concept. Mm -hmm. um, but it's, it, it was definitely very challenging to, to balance both. Um, you know, what, where the really inception of this began was with the firm. Uh, they had acquired a company uh, headquartered in Milan in Italy and I moved abroad two years and lived in Italy for two years and was exposed to a ton of food innovation mm -hmm. but also what was the birthplace of gelato and so I had the initial idea of thinking through ice cream and you know ice cream innovation and then was exposed to this incredible culture ice cream culture on a daily basis and while I was out there um, you know met a food scientist and a three-star Michelin chef who were both kind of really trying to reimagine ice cream and had the same thesis. And we kind of, you know, hit it off right away while we were abroad. Um, and then, you know, the, the, the ball started to roll. And, you know, on the side while working, uh, you know, during the day, at night, and whenever I had free time on weekends, would start working on this business with them locally. And then I, you know, called one of my childhood friends, David Cohen, who I'd known since third grade, who had some experience in food and beverage. And, uh, and you know, he, he had gotten pretty excited about the concept as well. And so we just started iterating. Um, and, you know, over the next eight to 12 months, um, we brought the product to the States. Um, and David Cohen was really at the wheel building this business and, uh, and making it happen. And then I told him if we hit, you know, X amount of revenue and prove that this is a real business, then I'll quit the job, I'll move home and, you know, We'll, we'll really try to make this happen. And how many months after that happened did you quit your job? Uh, I think it was about 12 months, so eight months. We started, uh, this launched officially in August of 2016, and then I quit my job the next summer, May of 2017. So what are Dream Pops? Give us the overview. Definitely, so at a high level, um, it's a coconut milk-based ice cream bar. Um, it's functional, you know, as I said, we wanna make ice cream snackable and mm -hmm. functional. So think about frozen snacking 2.0. Um, you know, each of the products has a superfood. They have an adaptogen in some way, shape, or form. Uh, you know, it's it's an ice cream popsicle that has a little bit of a booster, um, some sort of a functional component. What's really interesting too is, you know, rather than having to commit to an entire pint of ice cream, you can take this while you're driving on a walk. Um, it also melts a lot, you know, slower than a traditional popsicle. Mm. So it's very much so mess free. Um, and it's really the, the modern embodiment of what we think ice cream should be today. And how are Dream Pops kind of disrupting the industry besides just being plant-based? Yeah, so, you know, back to the form factor of the pop. Mm -hmm. um, you know, traditionally, big ice cream has had that moon shape that we've all 
grown accustomed to. Right. Um, we have our you know patented design, which is really unique and geometric, um, and gives it a kind of a futuristic look and something memorable. But more importantly, you know we're design driven. We're chef crafted. We have a three star Michelin chef that's created our formulations. Um, and we're really thoughtful about the types of ingredients that we're sourcing. And I think on the back end too, just thinking through every product is functional, um, you know, whether it's lion's mane mushroom that's in our chocolate, which boosts cognitive function hmm. or helps with anti-inflammatory needs, um, or you know, something like our mango rosemary, which has baobab, which is a super fruit high in antioxidants. That's amazing. And uh, now there are kind of plant-based products everywhere, right? So how are you guys, besides your obviously great and clean branding, how are you kind of differentiating Dream Pops from all the other vegan ice creams out there? Right. So number one, we're vertically integrated. We're a manufacturer ourselves. So currently, you know, a lot of food brands, they use co-packers, um, mm -hmm. but being able to own the entire supply chain. And as I said, let's say you had a specific flavor that you wanted, we could turn that around in three and a half weeks. Which is so cool. Um, it's, it's, it's like fast fashion for ice cream. Right, you know? yeah. Um, and so that's a huge competitive advantage. Two, the form factor and shape, that's kind of iconic. That's our Nike swoosh. Mm -hmm. um, that's what will bring people back to remember it. You know, whether and can we open one yes, to see absolutely. on camera what, yeah. what we're talking about? <laughs> yeah, it's a lot more helpful to do that. Um, Amazing, this is very cool. <laughs> Love that, and I'll try it after. But, yes, um, no problem. So yeah, that's obviously very revolutionary. I've never seen that before. Right. So this design, you know, it's you know definitely as we said, the modern embodiment of what we think ice cream should be. I'm gonna leave this out over the, like the course of, of the interview, and you'll yeah. see it melts a lot slower than a traditional popsicle as well. It's on the go, it's snackable, but also it's portion controlled. Right. You know, sometimes you're eating a, a big ice cream yeah. bar, and it's like. <laughs> massive it's all over your face yeah. it's chocolate you don't feel so great after finishing Do not it. feel so great. this yeah. you can have it you can enjoy it and then you know you can kind of go on with your day um and you know we can infuse anything from protein um you know we've done uh, alcoholic varieties mm. uh, coffee matcha um really making the ice cream itself functional for every occasion and that's what gets us excited. Absolutely. And if you could give an aspiring entrepreneur who wants to break into like the health food ice cream space advice, what kind of tips would you give them? Or what, what advice would you give them? One of the most helpful things was, and I still do this, I try at least once a week or a few times during the week to sit down with thought leaders in the space. Mm -hmm. um, you need to sit down and get in front of, and in the beginning, you're going to have to be really scrappy and send cold emails and bother people. Um, and be relentless because 10 to 15 minutes, 30 minutes with somebody who has done this is going to add so much value and allow you to avoid mistakes that could right away put you out of business. Yeah, absolutely. This is a really competitive, hyper competitive space, especially right now. And being able to understand how to manage capital, how to think about distribution. You know, we, we made a handful of mistakes. I wish I had been a little bit more aggressive and, uh, and sat down with even more people to give me advice. Well, I'm so excited to see where you guys end up, but where do you see Dream Pops in the next five or 10 years? So I would love to convince the general American public to trade away from some of the other bars, ice cream bars in the market and opt in for a healthier, cleaner, plant-based alternative. Um, I think that we have an opportunity to really reimagine ice cream for the next generation. Um, you know, I have, uh, you know, would love to find a way to create an ice cream shop of the future. Um, but, you know, in no way, shape or form do I see us just being pops mm -hmm. or ice cream bars. Um, I see us extending into all sorts of products. And the goal here is to be the, the Willy Wonka of vegan plant based desserts and confections. I love that. That's the perfect uh, line to end on. David, it was such a pleasure to meet you. Thank you so much. Likewise. Thank you. This is Business Rockstars. That was my amazing guest, David Greenfeld, founder of Dream Pops.